Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Miller Fusion 185 engine drive unit. Um, so in this video today, we're gonna go over the options on the Fusion 185, uh, the power output, the unique feature called power shift, what we can do with this. Um, so let's hop right into it. So as you can see, it's a pretty small unit, weighs about 242 pounds. I left the pallet attached to the pallet. Uh, we got it up here. You can get running gear. You can get a lifting eye for this unit. It is a 6,500 watt generator with 6,200 watt continuous power, so 6,500 peak. Um, obviously 110, 220 output on that. Um, it's got a 30 amp 220 plug and then 20 amp 120 plugs. Uh, we got our choke, it's electric start. I don't have the battery hooked up. I don't have gas in the unit. Um, but what I wanted to talk about today was what this thing is, what's so unique about it. Uh, so it's got power shift. Um, this comes with a 13 and a half horsepower Kohler. You got pull start if you need it. But the power shift capability on this unit, it's pretty neat. So see on the side there? So we open up that little door and what do you see? You see a plug, right? So we're gonna unplug that and pull that out. So we got a cord um, and it looks very similar to your right, multi-matic units, uh, the 220, the 255, everything like that, that does 110, 220. So this unit, we can run the welder output off a wall plug. So not only can we run the welder output off the engine drive, but we can also run it off a wall plug. Awesome, awesome. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug it in and weld with it on 220. Um, just to show you the output on this on the welding side of it. Uh, but like I said, it, it'll do both. You can plug it back in and you can run off the generator or we can run off a wall plug. So very versatile. If you're, if you're a homeowner looking for, you know, 185 amp machine or, you know, for welding, uh, stick electrodes, I mean, this is perfect. So what we're gonna do, we'll plug this in and grab my plug here. Like I said, we got plug this thing in. So now we got 220 hooked up. I heard something click, so we should be set up. Now this has a three year warranty. Uh, Miller, as you know, backs everything great. So we got power. We got our welder on. We got welding power. Now this thing will do 30 to 100, 185 amps. You're only good on 120 up to 95 amps. And obviously 220, you get the full range. Duty cycle on engine and on 220 at 110 amps you're 100 percent and then at 185 amps you're only 20 percent that's on the engine and on the power shift 220 now if you go to 120 you're limited at 90 amps you're at 40 percent duty cycle on 110 so we could plug this in the 110 is what i'm saying so it'll do both um but let's give this a shot here i'll i got a 336 stick electrode 7018 We'll just bump that up, we'll, we'll run right in there somewhere just below 95. So we got our negative terminal and our positive terminal. Let me get my leads hooked up. Now this unit did not come with stick electrode holder or ground. So just keep that in mind. You know, but the thing is you could get any option, right? You could get what, you know, if you wanted different links. Miller offers a kit. We'll link that down below. I have the kit here. So you got your ground and your stinger right from Miller. Get that all going. Get my ground hooked up here. So we got our arc control too. So that's gonna give our, our arc balance. We'll, we're at zero. We'll give it somewhere in that neighborhood, right? So it's zero to 100. You figure that's 50%, I'll go about half that. We'll go somewhere between 25 and 30, just for an arc start. Um, let's give this thing a shot. I'm gonna grab my hood. So like I said, I got it on, I just have a 332nd, 7018. Got somewhere in the neighborhood of, obviously it doesn't have a digital meter, but I got somewhere in the neighborhood of 90 amps, which should be sufficient. Everything's plugged in, ready to rock. Um, let's give it a shot here. Grab my stick electrode holder. So now we're plugged into 220 in the wall. And uh, we're running, and this is an engine graph. It's pretty awesome. This point.
that's impressive. I mean, we're on 220 off the wall, but still, that's pretty awesome. So we're running, running 220, and obviously we can unplug that, plug it back into the engine drive and run off gas, too. I think that's like the perfect, mo perfect scenario for a homeowner, right? Where if you don't want to run gas, you got 220, you can plug it in. Or if you need backup power, you got a generator as well. Um, or if you need portable welding, you got portable welding. And that's that's awesome. Right? That's an that's an impressive unit. And for the price point of it, you can't almost can't beat that. And what if you're just going to stick well on that? I mean, what more would you really need on running higher or lower amperages, right? From 30 to 185. I can't think of too much outside that parameter. Uh, just for the farm or home hobby, running outside that. If you got any questions or comments or anything, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos.